Elon Musk is accusing Apple and its CEO of censorship. Musk fired off a series of tweets accusing Apple of halting advertising on Twitter and threatening to remove the social media platform from the App Store. Musk even tagged Apple CEO Tim Cook in the thread asking him, quote, what's going on? Apple has not responded to requests for comment. However, many advertisers have paused their ad campaigns on Twitter since Musk bought the company last month, citing concerns about harmful content on the site. All right, for more on what's going on here, we're joined tonight by Ian Schur, CNET editor at large. Ian, always good to see you. I, you know, looking at this from the outside, it seems pretty risky for, for Elon Musk to be going after Apple. Why, why is he doing this? Uh, in a lot of ways, this is very much Elon Musk's thing, right? He's he's a very abrasive individual online. He has made his name by going against a lot of the grain in Silicon Valley. And so, no surprise, he would decide to pick a fight with the world's most valuable company. Uh, it's worth noting he's also the world's richest man. So he doesn't have a lot of people who tell him no a lot, I imagine. And when Apple said, you know, hey, we're not going to be spending as much money with you, even no no matter what the reasons were, uh, he obviously was not very happy with that. It's, it's worth noting that uh, he has complained a couple of times publicly about how advertisers have mm. pulled spending so much that it's actually hurting Twitter, which, of course, is part of the whole problem here. Yeah, Ian, so we've seen some reporting that Apple might actually consider removing Twitter from the App Store if it doesn't abide by Apple's content standards. How likely is Apple to take that kind of action? Yeah, it's, it's interesting because when we think of censorship and this debate about moderation, we usually think of the social networks. But one of the things that we've been writing increasingly about on CNET is that Apple and Google serve as gateways as well. And they don't typically flex their muscle, but they do have rules that they set. And every once in a while, there are apps that run against them and they kick them out of their app stores. And with Apple in particular, there's no other way to get an app on the iPhone uh, that's sanctioned unless you use their app store. So it's the only option. And the big thing that they've been telling other social networks, particularly ones that are more popular with extremists, think of Parler and Gab and stuff like that, is that they have been saying, we've been hearing through the through the grapevine, that if their moderation standards aren't up to snuff, right, and they don't have enough stuff that's stopping, for example, mass hate speech or child abusive imagery, which does show up on some of these platforms, that they're not going to allow them on the App Store. And so that might be what Twitter is up against. When you cut half the staff as Elon Musk has, you don't have as much people to do the basic moderation that he needs. Yeah. In these tweets here, Musk really is taking aim at Apple's App Store fees, these 30% right. fees that they charge, which we've known about, obviously, for, for a long time. What are the implications of, of the fees, the App Store fees, for the new subscription service that he's rolling out? Is this possibly what Musk is worried about, having to, you know, having to pay Apple for those subscriptions? You are connecting exactly the right dots. This is part of the problem that Elon Musk is under. He's losing advertising money. He's trying to rely more heavily on subscriptions. Twitter blue, right, is this, this idea of being able to not only be able to have access to new features like editable tweets, but also have a blue check mark next to your name that's caused its own trouble. But that's $8 a month. And he said, okay, well, if I can get enough people to sign up for this, maybe I can get Twitter out of trouble. Well, he didn't count on, it seems, that Apple charges a 30% uh, fee on the first year of subscriptions and that is required through the app store they do this also with like new looks for your characters and video games and stuff they don't charge fees by the way to amazon and ebay when you're buying real world girl goods so it's it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out but elon musk is not is not the first person to this issue as you pointed out and i imagine he won't be the last complaining about it either all right something to continue to watch ian sure cnet editor at large always appreciate your time sir thanks for having me